The Science Lab. This is where real hands-on learning takes place. It's where students have the opportunity to explore and investigate science. 15. Oh, that's perfect. Join us in this high school chemistry class as these young scientists experiment with acid-based titrations using state-of-the-art technology, the Vernier LabQuest. Today we're doing a titration experiment. We're all set up. So let's add a couple drops of indicator solution. When you do an experiment like a titration, uh, sometimes when you are relying on visual methods to determine the equivalence point, um, you're relying on an indicator that may or may not change at the correct time or the correct point in the titration but being able to determine that using the graphical method or the graphic, the graph view on the LabQuest, they can see right away as soon as that endpoint or equivalence point gets reached and then they know they're done versus just looking at a color or a shade of a color that may or may not be accurate. Mr. Morales sets the students free to experiment and explore the LabQuest interface. Watch as students easily navigate and discover analytical options. So we're ready to go. You can go ahead and plug in your sensor. Add two mils of base to the beaker and then wait for it, for it to stabilize and then keep the data and continue on. Uh, let's just do one. Yeah. Keep the data point. Volume three milliliters. And there's a second data point. So it's at about five. So I see some of you have a pink color, but it doesn't seem like your equivalence point has been reached yet on your curve. So you can find the actual equivalence point by going to your analyze screen and selecting your tangent. And if you tap on any part of the curve along your data points there, you'll see that it will give you the slope of the tangent at each of the points. So what did students discover about the lab quest along the way? Once they got the lab quest in their hands, uh, they were just able to explore the menus and all the options very easily. Oh, and the little tabs on top, that's convenient. Well, what I found was that with the lab quest, if you look through the menus, it didn't have everything you could possibly do, but really it had what you want. We were able to see two graphs at once, which really enabled us to analyze them well. There you go. See what you can do with a curved right. fit. Okay, this is so, a straight so line. So let's try a linear fit. It was really just a lot easier to find what you need. And like the tangent is what we wanted to use for this. And it was one of the, the options. Oh, there awesome. we go. Oh, it gives you the full statistics. Like the full... Readout, minimum, readout, maximum. No. It had a calculator, a keyboard. You could do anything you wanted on it, just like a laptop, but it's a lot more compact. And what about the science? With a lab quest, you can really see everything that's going on, even behind the scenes, and so you can really start to understand that it's really like the pH that matters, and you can really start to understand how it works. When the students are using the lab quest, they're uh, having a closer interaction with the data as it's being taken, um, as it's being collected. Uh, they just concentrate on the science of the experiment itself. I was blown away by the science. <laughs> The Vernier Lab Quest. The freedom to inquire, the technology to excel.